Hello dears! Today will be the continuation of my Part 3 Eyeshadow Palettes Collection 2019 And today, we are touching this unit over here This is mainly the Colourpop Eyeshadow Palettes which I have a ton of them And also I Heart Revolution This is the 8 collection and also further inside Let me remove the flower is the chocolate bar series yeah! Hello dears, welcome to Beauty of a Heart I'm Lily, also known as Lulu So just now I already mentioned this is a continuation of part 3 So without further ado, let's get started Yes, before I jump into the Colourpop Eyeshadow Palettes collection, let me jump to with this. This is the Rani Cosmetic Shattered Gems collection. The eyeshadow palette, not collection. <laughs> because I just received it two days ago. And this is the colour. I haven't tried it out on my eyes, just doing hand swatch when I received this. And I'm so excited that I received the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palettes is cruelty free, vegan, paraben free and tuck free so during my hand swatch I find that this color lapis which is the grayish black is a bit patchy but the rest of the color is very good quality but somehow this garnet reminds me of some colors in the other palettes that I cannot remember right now so I'm going to play around with it more than share with you this. And please tell me this, would you like me to do a full detailed swatch and review for this palette? Please comment in the comment section below, yeah? Thank you so much. Now, let me officially start with all my Colourpop eyeshadow palettes, starting with the Six Pants palette. I think up to date, I have almost all of their eyeshadow palettes from yeah. Six Pants and above. I didn't collect their quads because I think Six Pants is much more worth it. Okay, now I'm waiting for my Just My Luck, the green palette, the 9 pen green palette and also the Zoella Sweet Brush or something, the neutral with the pop of blue palette to come here. Actually, I'm not very interested in that palette but I was thinking to build a library of neutral colours for the dupe because I thought all this while the neutral natural brown would be very easily duped but when I was duping the Melt Cosmetic, the blue stack eyeshadow palettes it's not so. And yes, yes, for the past few videos for my eyeshadow collection, and if you caught me staring in the front because my Kalex IKEA shelf is in the front, all my eyeshadow palettes is in front of me right now. So on and off, I will look to the front and not to the camera. Okay, so let's start with this. This is the Take Me Home. It's a six color pen, natural neutral brown. I wouldn't really like this color because most of the color doesn't really show up. So, and it's not selling anymore. And this is the pretty much, there is some pressed pigment. I've forgotten which are the pressed pigment. I think this is the color. I think there are two of them. And maybe this one, maybe this two. But they are not selling anymore. So, and this has a lot of good reviews. This is not selling anymore, but you may find it at the resellers market, like maybe Carousel, Amazons, or something like that. So, if you are into pinks, and a bit more V colors, you may like to get this. It will be good to take it along with us for maybe two to three days of holidays and make up your mind. Okay, I think they are discontinuing this color. I think all their colors as an individual is a very pretty color. I don't think there's any supportive colors over here in the palette, and I think you will need another palette to complement this and this silver is really powerful all the colors over here are very pretty and in fact this color over it now they are selling it as a single eyeshadow so if you like this color only then you can get the single eyeshadow and for your information I bought this palettes as well as all the nine color pens eyeshadow palettes from Colourpop to do a giveaway I bought them last week, 9th of March, until now. Today is the 17th of March. They haven't shipped 
the orders yet. But yesterday, I realized they are having 20% off site wide. My heart ache. And I was sharing with Lisa Jacuz. She was sharing with me why not I can write to them and ask them for a 20% credit or 20% discount refund or something like that. I didn't know I can do that. So I have already written to them and see how they respond. Next, let's proceed with their 8 pen eyeshadow palette, which I only have 3. This is the Semi Precious, it's, I think in 2017 is a collaboration between Colourpop and Sephora. It's their gemstone colour. I love that the colours are deep and pretty. They are not selling anymore in the website, so you may like to check their resellers like the Carousel, Amazons, etc. And this is the collaboration. Okay, these two are the collaboration with Redman Rock. This is the lid. Also, it's pen, but it's a smaller size pen. It's a very beautiful red. And the blue. And now let's jump into their nine color eyeshadow palette, which started with which I'm starting with this so and mouth. At first, I thought these two, the bit and wet, are very similar to this so and mouth, which is also a collaboration project with some beauty YouTuber so and mouth. Sorry, I do not know them, but they are not the same. This so and mouth are more summer feel, more bright, and Bretman Rock is more cool. Blue is the mouth and this is the sole and they have redesigned their packaging so mine is the old version and the palettes that I got for you this will be the new packaging hopefully okay this is the collaboration between Karuchi and Colourpop this is the brown sugar good for daily use and oh la la I think these two can mix very well together. This is all the pink eyeshadow palette. And it's my pleasure. A lot of us love this purple color, but it came in broken. But unfortunately, I find that it's a so so palette because if you are a ColourPop fan like me, there are four repeated colors over here. The four repeated colors are Pretty Cruel, Earth Shine, which came in broken. Then this is the Mr. Sandman and Slipper. So this Earth Shine, Mr. Sandman and Slipper are their latest 24 color new eyeshadow single colors. And Pretty Cruel is their existing single color. That's all for my 9 pence color palette. Now I'm waiting for the green palette to come. And next, finally to their 12 color pens palette. This is the Yes Please palette, which is my very first eyeshadow palette from them. It's very very dirty already as you can see here. And this is still my favorite. Although some of the mattes here are very grainy and rough in texture, Overall, their quality, especially for 16 USD, 16, yeah, I think it should be 16 USD. This is very worth it. The overall quality is good, especially for the shimmers, and I still love it very much. Then came in My Little Pony. It's a collaboration between My Little Pony and ColourPop. At first, I wasn't interested by it, but then after seeing a few swatches, I find that the color is very interesting. Some of the colors have like dual chrome. And it's very interesting, that's why I bought it. If you are dears who likes to have fun colors, you may like to get this and also maybe just complement it with maybe this brown sugar for a daily natural look. It has more matte. Or you can also top it up with the double and tondre, which is mini matte. You can use it to create more looks with it. This is the collaboration between. Karochi, I think, and Colourpop, and this is the She Palette. 
Colourpop has restocked this for a few times and then finally discontinued it. But I think last year, near to the end of this year, they bring it back again. So I think this is no longer a limited edition if I'm not wrong. You can still find it. The only thing that many dears have feedback is that they only have this row, four colours of matte. The rest are all shimmer, which personally I don't mind it because I prefer shimmery, glittery, and dual chrome eyeshadow. So I like this very much. It's a, you can create a lot of very romantic look and family look with it. But again, if you find that there isn't much matte eyeshadow, you can always pair it up with your other matte eyeshadow. And then come this Dream Street is a collaboration between ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. It's one of my favourite ColourPop eyeshadow because the quality somehow in this is so good. They are matte. In this, it's very smooth, finely milk compared to the Yes Please palette. So, and I find that this is of a much better quality than their later collaboration with Zodiac, which I will touch again later. Then, this is also one of my favourite. This is the I Think I Love You. For some reason, I don't know why this is double and tondre and they have the same packaging, just that they are the back is different. <laughs> this is for daily natural look, and if you like to, you can use this gold for a pop of color to create a more daring look. Other than that, this is a very natural color, and this is the double and tondre, which I seldom use it actually. I will prefer this. I think I love you than this double and tondre. This is the matte, as I mentioned just now, mini matte. This has only 4 matte, the rest are shimmers, and this has only 4 shimmers, the rest are all matte. So these two combined together will be a good combo. And yeah, as I mentioned, I don't know why they have the same packaging except for the sticker here. So my suspect is they maybe produce too much of this design palette. So much so that they do not want to waste the packaging because it's all money and use it on the double and tundra instead. And then that's why at the back they will just paste a sticker at the back. So this is purely my assumption. I do not know how true it is. And then comes this. This is Give Fit To Me Straight. It's one of my favorite palettes because it is pink and mauvey palette. You can create a lot of romantic, feminine, girly look with it. Next is this 12 color pen again. This is the You Had Me at Hello. This is also quite romantic, but I seldom use this. Okay, rumor said that one of the I think beauty YouTuber or YouTuber, one day she was bored and she started to peel off the sticker over here or over at the box somewhere, which I don't have it. And then she realized this is actually a collaboration between Colourpop and Kathleen Lights. It's supposed to be. That's why there's the lighting over here. But somehow it didn't go through, so this remains as it is. And that's why I derived the assumption that the I think I love you and Double and Tundra has the same packaging. And next, I think if I'm not wrong, this is also the collaboration between Sephora and Colourpop. I'm not so sure. But I think this color is a press pigment, so you cannot use it near the eyes. But I was thinking, if I don't use it near the eyes, then where should I use it for? Blusher? I don't know. I think there are some more press pigment which I cannot remember which are the color. But this color over here, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, is available as a single. And I think C Stars, I think it should be this color, is also available as a single eyeshadow. Then comes the Zodiac. It has very interesting packaging. This is blue with gold print and the box is black with gold print. I did a detailed swatch and review for this palette and for the whole palette, I was attracted by this color only and it happens to be Pisces, which is my color. And I find that the quality is inconsistent, not as great as the previous one, the Dream Street. Something matte, especially for this color and this color, are uh, very patchy and it just can't show up much. So you have to build and build and build so many layers 
for that little intensity, if you know what I mean. And then comes this good spot. This is one of my favorite palettes from Colourpop. Especially for this gold and this olive green gold. Fabulous. Okay, let me just swatch. The shimmer is really very soft. My lighting today is a bit dark. Not sure if you guys can see. And this is the gold. It is also one of my favorite autumn color palettes. Very beautiful. And they actually include purple inside. And come this, this is the Sibahe, the collaboration between Colourpop and Becky G, who is the Yellow Power Ranger, if I'm not wrong. So this is the color. It has four shimmers and, and as I mentioned before, I find that for this color and this color, actually they look very similar. So I'm somebody who likes shimmers, metallic, glitters, dual chrome, more than matte. And I find that they have only four shimmers over here and these two colors happen to be very similar. I find that it is such a shame because they could have produced more shimmers and very different color. So if you're a person who likes matte colors, then you might want to consider this. But I really love their packaging. So pretty! Anything with a black background, any colors will look good in it. And comes these two palettes. I think this is their holiday, last year holiday palette in collaboration with Ulta. And you cannot find this anymore. And this is the Sweet Nothings. This is more to the romantic again, the morphe purplish and a bit pinkish color. But I wouldn't want to touch much because you can't find this in their website anymore. But you might be able to find it at the reseller. And this is the Rendezvous, which has very similar vibe with their later collaboration with I love Serahi, this one through my eyes. They have similar vibes. So even if you cannot find this anymore, you may still be able to find this through my eyes in the Colourpop website. And next, let's proceed to the 15 color pen. Let me start off with this golden state of mind. Some love it, some don't love it. But this is all shimmery, glittery colors. I think this is this was launched. In 2017 holy as a one of the holiday palette and in collaboration with Sephora as well as this if I'm not wrong. Anyways, I don't have color pop in my Sephora. So this is the color, very pretty color. I don't think you can just use this palette alone. I think you need to match it up with some matte colors to create more looks. Then this is the one. All I see is Magic! Okay, this color here, Wishful Winking. Let me show you the color. This color, Wishful Winking, is also available as a single eyeshadow. They are latest 24 newest color, single color collection. So that's a repeat color. Then come this, this is the last year holiday palette. This is the Chasing Rainbow and it's a very colourful, almost rainbow colour palette. I have extra palettes for this, so I'll be doing a giveaway. And this is the Disney Princess Collection. I don't really like the colour over here, it's very very natural, very pinky. But I just want to collect it. Anyways, I think in April next month, they'll be coming out with the Disney Villain palette. But from the few photos I've seen, the colors are also not as deep and dark as I thought it would be. Because you know, Villain, they have very dark, deep color. But it just doesn't reflect in that palette. But for all you know, photos can be very different from the real thing. Now proceeding to the 16 colors eyeshadow palettes from Colourpop again. 
starting with this Shela perception, it has very similar vibe with the Urban Decay Bond to Run palette. And if you have watched me for quite some time, you just will know that I do not really like the Urban Decay Bond to Run palette because the quality in that palette is not consistent. Some are very good, some are not good, especially for their matte. And they are very purple color. It just you, you just can't see them at all. Very patchy. So for that color vibe, I might as well choose a more affordable option which is the Perception. I don't think Colourpop is intentionally duping that palette because I think they launched at about the same time. So this is... Okay, the two colors over here are natural, neutral. And if you want to have more smoky looks and colorful looks, you can go for these two colors. Then comes the Fame, which this is the cool natural neutral palette. I am really not into that because it seems very boring despite the very interesting, colorful, very beautiful packaging over here in the front. I'm more interested in this, the Fortune, the warm color. It has beautiful, warm, dusty colors over here. And if you just know when you match these two together, it completes a whole picture. So basically, I get these two purely to complete my collection. And this is their little palette through my eyes, a collaboration between I love Serahi and also Colourpop. And as I mentioned just now, this has very similar vibe to the Randall Woods. So since Randall Woods is out of stock and discontinued already, you may want to get this. And next are some of the those powder pigments I got from the collaboration from Cutting Lights and Colourpop. But I'm not going to show you one by one, i just show you the colours that it is. One more is coming on the way which is the Maiden, it's an icy white colour, great for the inner corner highlights. There are 12 colours available as the Zodiac collection and I've collected 9. I'm really not interested in the other 3, which depending how, maybe when there's a very good offer then I might complete all the 12. But no urgency. Depends. Alright, next will be the Build Your Own Palette. I got crazy last year and because they have very good promotion. The Build Your Own Palette, 24 colors for only 44 USD, inclusive of one empty magnetic palette. And I ended up with six palettes. Okay, so this is my number one palette. This is the 24 colors, their latest 24 colors. Isn't it beautiful? Most of them are shimmers and they are very vibrant. Okay, this is my warm palette. And I put a star to differentiate them because they all have the same packaging. And this is my brown, green, yellow palette. And this is my blues, the cooler tone palette. And these two with two hearts sticker are my face palette. This is my highlighter palette. And also my blusher palette. Alright, that's all for Colourpop. Now proceeding to the I Heart Revolution, especially for their chocolate bar series. See you in a while. Hello dears! Now we are going to the I Heart Revolution, especially for their chocolate series, their chocolate bar series. I have the rest of the I Heart Revolution palettes in the other unit so we'll be touching that in some other days so let us just touch about all this here first this is the I Love Surprise 
This is the Unicorn, and then this is the Rose Gold. This was launched last year around Easter period. I think for iHeart Revolution, they come with such a cute, beautiful packaging. But sometimes, it's either a hit or miss. Their quality is like not very consistent. So over here, this is the purple egg. <laughs> These are the highlighters. And it comes in 5 eyeshadow colours. All shimmers. Their texture is very soft and buttery smooth. And it's really pigmented. I don't see them selling in the website anymore. So I'm wondering for this Easter, what will they be coming up with? Okay, then this is the rose gold. Colors, eyeshadow. And this is the highlighter. They are just so cute that I display them as my display piece on the shelf. And these two, I also display this at my outside living room toilet shelf. But although I love the packaging, this is so cute, the glitter will just flow. This, I think, is the same packaging as the CRT palette. I didn't try that before, I do not know how's the performance. But this was nominated as one of my worst eyeshadow palette in 2018 because the color just can't be shown and picked up. So if you love the packaging and if you have the money then just buy it, otherwise save the money. No point buying for the packaging. Okay, next comes I have 10 chocolate bars palette, which I don't know which one to start. Maybe I start with this. This is a dark chocolate. My Mr. Guan loves dark chocolate. This is the chocolate vice. I think it's their earlier palette. And all comes with a brush. Okay, this layout is the old layout. They used to come with this two big pen eyeshadow and the rest are the regular size. And this is a very natural neutral palette. You can use it for everyday use. Talking about that, there are two more new eyeshadow palettes from the, from their chocolate bar. Doesn't this seem like white chocolate? And their chocolate bar design is really very cute. And I heard actually Too Faced is copying their palette design. <laughs> well, what comes around goes around. They always copy Too Faced products, so Too Faced copy their design. That makes it fair. Okay, this is the I Heart Revolution, or it used to be known as I Heart Makeup, and this is their Naked Chocolate palette. The color is lighter than the previous dark chocolate. This one, this is darker, this is lighter. So it depends on what kind of nude that you are going for. And for their older layout, the color name is all on this plastic sheet, which can be quite inconvenient. And this is the later version. I love I Heart Revolution Nude Palette. This is the latest layout. They got rid of the two large pen, and in fact, they include two more colors, and they do it without the brush. Which I think is very good because I don't use the brush anyway. The sponge tip applicator. I think this color story is a combination of these two. The light and the darker tip. Okay, next, this is the I Heart Makeup. Okay, it's all about I Heart Makeup now. What am I talking about? This is the all chocolate orange. Orange and chocolate. Oh yeah, I haven't tell you this right. If you just have this series, you may find you may find that all palettes comes with a chocolatey smell, a very chemical chocolatey smell. And I thought when I received this orange, I thought I smelled orange. Anyway, it smells very artificial. So if you dears are not into chemical smell, then maybe you would like to skip all this chocolate bar series away. So I would consider this as nude also, there are some orange 
color which is very nice this is a very warm orange nude palette then comes the mint actually I really like the mint green color with the chocolate and I thought initially it has mint smell but no I think it's the chocolate smell I think I have some problems in smelling Anyway, this is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture but I think this is prettier than the subculture because it has more shimmers The subculture has only like 2 or 4 shimmers and this has more shimmers The rest are more matte Anyways, I don't know if you just know this ABH is not the first one to come out with the subculture color scheme the color stories I watched from a video that actually for slick makeup they used to have this I've forgotten the name something volume VOLD something but they have already discontinued the palette so after slick comes the subculture so I don't know who did who but anyways I think this is very common in the makeup industry so again I like this more than the subculture colors because it has more shimmers and then comes this 24k gold this was launched last Valentine's Day and it has very beautiful gold shimmers colors it has more shimmers than matte and if you just like to refer to my big giveaway video, I'm giving this out as one of the gifts. So I will link the video link somewhere in the screen and also in the description box. So check it out. Then comes the rose gold. I think this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. And I like this color story a lot. So this make it as one of my favorite chocolate series and this is my favorite favorite this is the violet okay this comes this was launched at about the same time as novena but i don't think that they are duping novena because they comes at about the same time so i'm not so sure who did who it's not always the cheaper palette dupe the more expensive palette it could be the other way around so it has some very beautiful purple and this is the new layout. Two more palettes to go. I nearly forgotten about them. This is the I Heart Makeup Chocolate and Peaches. Why did I keep saying I Heart Makeup, I Heart Makeup? I'm talking about this series, isn't it? Okay, this is actually my first palette I bought from them. And I really love the color story over here. This is the dupe of the Too Faced Peach palette, which I heard mixed review about them, so I bought this instead. I really like peachy pink color with a touch of green. Somehow I find that green actually looks good and very natural on my eyelid for my skin tone. I'm more yellow. And then this is the pink piece. Which, from the picture, I really like the colors, but in the actual fact, it all these colors looks very light on my skin, so it doesn't look good on me. All oh, looks the same on my eyes. So these are all my I Heart Revolution Chocolate Bar series makeup, and I haven't been buying their later palettes, which is the Macaroon the cotton candy and what else but I'm aiming next month to buy Revolution Beauty again alright that's all for my third unit so for the next part I will be touching on my fourth unit which is the Revolution Beauty Revolution Pro and some of the I Heart Revolution palettes it's all the Revolution stuff then maybe on the fifth part, I will be touching on, on my mini palettes and that will be all. Hope it doesn't bore you this. Alright, 
So that's all for the sharing today. Last but not least, here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise. A girl should be two things. Who and what she wants. Very true indeed. Most of the time, we must know who we are and what we want in order to have a direction and go towards that direction. So, dears, which of these palettes do you like the most? Have you tried them? Please share your comments and your thoughts in the comment section below. Yeah, thank you so much. And if you happen to like this video, consider to like the video. Comment. Subscribe and click the bell notification button for my future videos. So thank you so much for watching. May you dears have a peaceful, blissful and joyful week ahead. See you next time. Bye!